Well, in just about two hours, Governor Larry Hogan will deliver his seventh State of the State address. And of course, this one is happening amid a global pandemic, which is certainly going to be an important part of his address. Ava Joy Burnett live with us right now. She's got more on what we can expect to hear from the governor tonight. Ava Joy. Hi, Nicole. Well, the last time the governor had a state of the state address, that was before the pandemic, and the world had no idea what was about to hit. Now, one year later, COVID-19 is affecting school, work, and play. Those are all topics the governor is going to talk about. And as you mentioned, this social distancing thing is also affecting the way the governor is delivering this address. As Governor Larry Hogan delivers the seventh state of the state address, every Marylander will be looking for answers on how he plans to continue to deliver help. The governor will likely put pressure on lawmakers in Annapolis to pass his $1 billion proposal, a plan that would send stimulus checks to low and moderate income families. He also wants a sales tax credit to businesses that have struggled to stay afloat. As the wrath of COVID-19 rages on, more than 350,000 Marylanders have tested positive in the last year, and the vaccine rollout continues to be an issue. About 584,000 people have gotten at least one dose so far, but that's less than 10% of the state's population. The governor will most likely address supply and demand, which is now a worldwide problem. School districts are now unveiling plans on how they will bring students back into the classroom, and the governor has been vocal about this. Last month, he did not hold back, saying he would use any available legal action to get students back to some form of in person learning by March 1st. Governor Hogan is also giving this so, virtual address uh, we'll to his home state. Way. After his national profile rose national in 2020, really it was a moderate sure Republican we'll voice the during the pandemic. Governor Hogan, who attended President Joe Biden's inauguration, may also address the current state of the nation. And we believe the govern governor may also talk about bringing new business to Maryland. Just this week, he sent a letter to the Biden administration requesting that they build a new FBI headquarters here in the state. That is yet to be seen. Once again, this will be streaming live tonight at 7 right here on WJZ. Live at 5, Ava Joy Burnett for WJZ.